converting a 1.2 kva generator into a self-powered generator aka foilless aka free energy does it work let's see first of all my heart goes out to those who have lost their lives in the ukraine russia war and um, the recent train bombing and killings in this part of the world so this project was inspired as a result of the scarcity and the very high price of petrol produce in this part of the world where it is deemed fit to only supply two hours of electricity per day or nothing at all so one day after queuing for four hours and still couldn't get the fuel to buy i got home and i was staring at the smaller generator one day and i felt i could make this thing work without using the fuel not a combustion engine and voila that parted the idea of a self-powered generator without further ado let me show you what i did so to get to this stage i had to tear down the generator to get rid of the things i had not been needing which are the combustion engine the piston rod the carburetor and um some other few things and then the things i left behind are the capacitor the flywheel the output socket and of course i had to fabricate something i had to fabricate what i'll use to join the two engines that i'll be using so i tried the universal coupler but the vibrations was just too much so i went for a second option which was to fabricate a propeller rubber to couple the electric motor and the alternator which is a generator together Oh yes, the result was marvelous. The vibration reduced to the tiredest minimal. As you can see, I have not bolted down the electric motor and the motor is moving with without much vibration. It's quite efficient. This part is showing that I've removed the cylinder, the piston and the rod alongside the spark plug and then the other side is where the carburetor is. I've removed that as well to allow a free and efficient rotation as the motor rotates the engine. Initially my plan was to use a DC motor but I realized I'd be needing a battery, an alternator to charge the battery or an inverter to charge the battery blah 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 all these things cost even more to put together. So I decided to go for an electric motor of a one OSPA 300 watts that's a low consuming electric motor with a 3000 rpm capacity and a voltage capacity of between 110 to 260 volt this electric motor is powered by an external source of electricity 220 volt which is connected to the switch the switch also has a second source of electricity supply which is gotten from the generator now let me explain the essence of the switch the switch has two sources of electricity supply one from an external source and the other from the generator now once the external source powers the electric motor the electric port motor runs at 3000 rpm speed to rotate the alternator of the generator until it's enough to produce current to power a 100 watt bulb at 250 volt now this same voltage produced by the generator will be tapped by the switch as a second source to power the motor to continue to rotate the alternator of the motor to make it a self-powered generator but unfortunately as physics would have it it doesn't seem to be working as i expected to so please send me comments send me solutions any solution to this project and, uh, I've checked online and I realized that a lot of people have done the same project, self-powered, they call it fuelless generator, and uh, they've employed the same method but with a twist. And um, I believe there's something they're not revealing. Or if there's something I'm not doing correctly, kindly let me know because I'm at this crossroad where I'm about to conclude that an electric motor of 3000 RPM cannot easily be switched to tap current from the generator to power itself and if you are of a different opinion please leave a comment